Simon, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. If you're in danger, we should go to the police. No, no. I don't want to hear about the police. I do not say that lightly. I know what it can do to this family, but it's the only real choice we have. If it's either that or no. you getting shot when you open your front door... I don't want to hear about the police. You are not some hardened criminal, Simon. You are in over your head. No. That's what we tell them. That is the truth. That's not the truth. Of course it is. School teacher, cancer, desperate for money. Okay, we're done here. Roped into working for... Unable to even quit. You told me that yourself, Simon. <sighs> what was I thinking? Simon, please, let's both of us just stop trying to justify this whole thing and admit you are in danger. Who are you talking to right now? Who is it you think you see? Do you know how much I make a year? I mean, even if I told you, you wouldn't believe it. Do you know what would happen if I suddenly decided to stop going into work? A business, big enough that it could be listed on the Nasdaq goes belly up disappears. It ceases to exist without me. No, you clearly don't know who you're talking to, so let me clue you in. I'm not in danger, Jeanette. I am the danger. A guy opens his door and gets shot, and you think that of me? No, I am the one who knocks. about, Brittany. Could you please explain to me why you're wearing my clothes? Oh, because we were supposed to dress up as something scary, and I couldn't think of anything scarier <laughs> than you. Uh, don't give me that. You don't have to dress up as something scary. Look at me. I'm dressed as Lara Croft, and I look beautiful. Yeah, but I decided to dress as something scary, hence I'm dressed as you. I am not scary. Yeah, but you gotta admit, he does look pretty scary wearing your clothes. Uh, where did you even get them? Well, that's easy. Think about it. I snuck into your treehouse and got the clothes out of the washing basket. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me get this straight. You're wearing my dirty clothes? Uh-huh. Brittany, you're pretty clean, you know. Alvin, it's still really inappropriate. Don't worry, Brittany. I'll give everything back, including your underwear. Alvin, that's disgusting. Just throw them away when you're done. Gross. All right, guys. This is officially the most weird episode of the Monkcast we've ever done. Yeah, Simon. But has it freaked you out? More than you can believe, Alvin. <laughs> hey, Eleanor, you want to tell him? <laughs> All right. I made that outfit Alvin's wearing. <laughs> ser ser seriously? Yeah, as if I would wear your laundry. How crazy do you think I am? It was a prank. <laughs> uh, Alvin, I am this close to losing my cool with you. Oh, but you know you love me. Anyway, it's time for the news. Spook has away, Melissa. Oh. Everyone, it's Melissa here. Happy Halloween. That's right. It's Halloween. Don't, don't listen to the um, monsters. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Anyway, we got some new Alvin and Chipmunk news. You know. Okay. 
like always, you know, you gotta love the news. Anyway, we have, well, the Alvin and Chipmunk live show has continued to tour in the United States. You can still get tickets for certain places. Just look at alvinlive.com. Also, um, it has been announced that the UK may get this live show. That's right. If you're in the UK, make sure to be saving up this money if you're planning on going to see this. It may be in London or someplace like that. So, yeah. Also, the um, well, third Alvin and Chipmunks trailer came out for the fourth film. This being the second United U.S. Um, trailer, and being the third of the trailers to release, has the Chipettes and more clips of the Chipmunks in it. This storyline seems to point more towards the Chipmunks and the Chipettes, as we obviously have noted before. The Chipettes do look a little different, with being more fluffy and their eyes being a little bit larger, like the look that we've seen of the Chipmunks. They do look a little different, but they're supposed to be older now than in the trailer. So, yeah, the new trailer, you can go watch that. You may see us later um, talk about it. Anyway, next, the new Alvin and soundtrack for the TV show came out. And it has 13 original songs, and it's called Where the Chipmunk. You can get, you could have got this on Amazon. Or, like me, the, the, um, there was a trailer that came out on the Alvin and Chipmunk official page for the TV show that showed that there was a Target exclusive. And I got it on the day of release, and it came with some extra songs, which included Be a Boss, Ride and Vacationing, Everybody Needs a Hero, as seen on the back, and all the other songs as well. You could have also gotten it on digital release. Also, there is a new Alvin and Chipmunk that will be released as you guys have known. It's available for digital download on iTunes, only in the United States. So, yeah. But this is a Target exclusive with the extra songs. You can only get this on Target. Next, we have a re-release of Meet Frankenstein and Meet the Wolfman. As we know, Meet Frankenstein originally had already gotten a release. If you got this version, it's exactly the same. Also, the CGI Love Action Films came out with new covers for the uh, films and new design. This says Alvin Chipmunks to the sequel. Instead of just saying Alvin Chipmunks the sequel, it has the boys on the front and the Alvin Chipmunks and Chipmunks on the back. These are um, new releases of the um, DVD. However, the disc inside is exactly the same with no extra special features or anything. It's just the normal version of the sequel which we get on DVD. Next, we have the Singing Christmas Plushies that were released in Lowe's. This one's Alvin, and as you can see, he has a microphone and headphones on. Yes, these are not earmuffs, they're headphones, and they say they're initials on them. There's also new artwork for the tags as well. Alvin sings the chipmunk song, The Big Town Rock Demon. Of it. We have Simon, again with the headphones with his text on the inside. Uh, microphone, and he sings We're the Chipmunks again as well, but he sounds like fire plucky. Then we have Theodore, who has again the initial on the side. He sang, sings Chipmunk Jingle Bell. So yeah, that's that. And actually, too, there has been um, new toys for Road Chip announced. One of these um, that we're showing you right now is an actual toy. I'm not sure if it's from this talk about, but this is one of the new Alvin and Chipmunk toys with the um, map in his hand. I do hope to get a hold of this the details there are nice. We also, yeah, for the toys here in the United States, it seems to be that they're releasing a party. I know this because it's on their website coming soon. Apparently October, I mean November the 30th. So keep your eyes out for them. I'm not sure if we're getting any more releases anywhere else in any other restaurants, we'll just have to wait and see, and I do not have any information on other countries that are getting them as well yet. We'll let you know in the month past, you know, what's going on with that, but 
make sure to watch out for this. Also, the album Chip of Road Chip Original Motion Picture Soundtrack is on Amazon. Not available for pre-order yet, but it has been announced to be coming out. So make sure to watch out for that when that releases and get that in stores or online or however you want to get it. The um, DVD for the album coming out next month, along with the storybook collection and the road trip novel. So make sure you check that out. The novel seems to be available next month for the U.S. and for the U.K. at a later date, probably because they put the movie really that far in February, which is a little insane, if you ask me. But basically, yeah. And also for the U.S., um, the movie has been pushed up to the 18th of December means it will be rivaling Star Wars. A lot of people are very concerned about this. There's a poster that was posted that even shows the chipmunk, you know, wearing like Star Wars, sort of, you know, it's a Star Wars picture. So make sure to watch it in the theaters and support the release of the film. And let us know what you think. Yeah. So thank you for looking everyone. Um Oh, thanks for the update, Melissa! And now it's time for the writing debut of Skylar Jensen. Here is his story we recorded for the Halloween special. Enjoy. <laughs> Boo! Ah! <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> Again! <laughs> Alvin, cut it out! You're going to give Theodore nightmares. And when he does, I don't want to hear anything because he'll be sleeping with you. Come on, Sai! Have a little fun! I'm trying to, but you keep interrupting my fun with your childish pranks. <sighs> Fine, I'll go prank the Chipettes. Alvin, I wouldn't. What's the use? He wouldn't listen to me either way. This is gonna be sweet. I told you I could sweet talk that lady into giving us extra candy. Why must you always doubt me, Jeanette? But all you did was sneak extra candy while Eleanor and I distracted her with a song. There was no sweet talk involved at all, Britt. <laughs> we got extra, though, didn't we? Well, yeah, but it still wasn't right to do. Listen up, Jeanette. If you are going to ever get where you want, you need to stop thinking of all this nonsense. That it wasn't right. <sighs> Let's go sweet talk someone else. While the night is still young, or am I? Ah! What's that? <laughs> gotcha, Brittany! Ah, <laughs> uh, Alvin! That wasn't very cool, Alvin. You nearly gave all three of us heart attacks. What's Halloween without a good scare? I got bored scaring Theodore every five minutes, so I decided to scare you three instead. Was that really necessary? Hmm. Let me think about that for a second. Uh, yes, it was! Help us clean up this mess you made at least, Alvin. You clearly deserve that. Sorry, girls, but I've got more victims to prank. So, hasta la vista for now. Alvin, get back here! Oh, uh, uh. Is that a dog? Uh, girls, I see we're too late. Are you okay? No, we're not. That numbskull brother of yours scared us to death. Yes, I'm afraid you three are not the only victims. Yeah, we heard Alvin talking about scaring Theodore. Don't you think that he's a little out of control? A little? I'd say he's gone completely insane. Britt, calm down. It wasn't that bad. Says who? Alvin needs to be stopped because this has gotten a little ridiculous. Agreed. I have an idea of how to teach Alvin a lesson. One lesson he will never forget. What did you have in mind, Brittany? Oh, just wait until you see. You still have Alvin's old monster sound tapes, right? This has been one of the best Halloween nights ever, yet I still want to pull off one of my final pranks. The biggest scare yet. The question is, is there any other trick-or-treaters left that I haven't scared? Wait a sec. Free candy bars. Whoa, this really is the best night ever. Huh? What happened to the moonlight? 
It, it doesn't matter. I'm going to get a free candy bar. I'm not afraid of the dark. <laughs> Hello? A anybody there? Where's the, the candy? Uh... Alvin, you shouldn't have come here. What? How, how do you know my name? Silence! You have entered the domain of the Alley of Fears, and in doing so, you have angered the spirit who dwells here. You cannot escape his wrath. You must pay. For, for what? I haven't done anything. Oh, but you have. You have betrayed those you care about. And unless you apologize to them, you, along with your loved ones, will perish from the wrath of the spirit who dwells in this alley. Apologize or suffer the consequences by facing the wrath of the spirit of the alley. What? What's that? Ah, get away! Get away! Get away! Apologize or face the wrath of the spirit. <laughs> Alright! Alright, I'm sorry! I'm sorry for pranking everyone tonight! Please don't eat me! I'm sorry for everything! Alright, you guys! I think he's learned his lesson! Wait, what, what, what's going on here? Gotcha! What, what, what is going on here? What happened to the mysterious voice? The spirit! Quite simple, Alvin. We got fed up with your pranks. So we thought we'd teach you a lesson. By scaring you as you did us. Wait a sec. How did you do the voice? I used your voice changer. The one you used to scare me all the time. But uh, how did you do the fog and the breeze? A strong fan and some old fog machines from our past concerts. Okay, but what about the spirit? Oh, that's Dave. He's using one of your masks and the old cloak we found. Gosh, guys, I have to admit, this was a good prank. I hope you've learned your lesson, not to prank us constantly. One prank is fine, but any more than that is just plain ridiculous. Uh, okay, fine. I'll go easy on the pranks from now on. Good. Now, let's go home. All right. <laughs> That's enough, guys. I've learned my lesson. Alvin, we're not doing this. I swear. Run! <laughs> Works every time. Welcome back. Now it's time for the fan mail, the most important part of the show. All right, I'll go. It's from the Lone Chipmunk. And he sent in a while ago, <laughs> sorry for the delay, a video of his Chipmunks Minecraft set. And it's quite good. Uh, here, here's a, a short look at it. Sorry we couldn't fit it all in. <laughs> now, we were unable to put in the audio for obvious reasons, 20th Century Fox. But, as you can see, he recreated parts of the movie. And I think that was unbelievable. Yeah, unbelievably good. Exactly. As far as Minecraft's blockiness goes, that was incredibly good when it comes to detail. Yeah, we didn't exactly look right, though. Yeah, well, limitations, Jeanette. The next piece of fan mail is from Caleb Green. Hi, Chipmunks. What's your favorite video game? I'm very sure we've already answered this one before. But if you were to say what's my favorite video game of this year, I would have to say, up to this point of this video, it's Assassin's Creed Syndicate. It's a lot of fun, even if the villains in the game are repetitive. Yeah, I'm sure that'll change to Fallout. Oh, that's why I said up to this point. This fan mail is from Alex Kursanov. Alvin is such a jerk. I hate him. 
You call that fan mail? He didn't say he hated me. Well, for being a jerk, I'm sorry. Ugh. Yeah, Alvin, well, actions speak louder than words. Yeah. Yeah, they do. This fan mail is a picture from that longtime user Benjamin Evil. He's had a lot of stuff on the show, so after this one, we're giving him a break. Well, it's a picture of Alvin with a pumpkin on his head. This is kind of strange. Yeah, is it on your head or has your head turned into a pumpkin? Uh, I guess that's down to the person looking at it and their interpretation of it. Careful, Alvin. You don't want rats eating your head. Or for it to spoil. Guys, guys, come on. You're starting to scare me a little bit. Well, Alvin, what is it you once said? Everyone's entitled to a good scare. <laughs> I take it back. Oh, no. You can't this time, Alvin. It's Halloween, and everyone's entitled to a scare on Halloween. All right, well, the next fan mail is from Twilight Sparkle. <laughs> Hey, Theodore, what did you actually say when you saw paw prints on Dave's car and you were pointing at it on Good Look Mr. Whiskers? Oh, that's an easy one. I was saying cat curse. A little slower, please. You were saying it too, Alvin. Cat curse. All right, now it's time for my piece of fan mail. And it's from the Chipettes. Huh? I have a question for Jeanette. Do you like One Direction? If so, who's your favorite among the five? Liam, uh, Neil, Harry, Zane, Louie. Thank you. Okay, okay. First off, that's not our YouTube account. This one is, and uh, the official one, I guess. But, uh, Jeanette, the, the answer? Yeah, thanks for butting in, Brittany. Um, okay. Uh, I, I watch, I, I mean, I, I listen to their music, but I, I'm not really, like, a big fan, but uh, if I had to pick one, I'd say Harry. <laughs> not because he's cute, I mean, not be. Oh. All right, guys, that's all we have time for. Leave your fan mail on our email, our forum, our group, our page, or our uh, Twitter, or other stuff I can't think of. Links in the description. So we hope you have a happy Halloween, and until next time, which is the last time this season, Keep on monkeying! Now where's my candy? Ew.